that ancient text in the Zack Snyder teaser trailer has been translated. Let's break down what it really says. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia, and we got a really interesting update on that Zack Snyder teaser trailer. But first, we wanted to remind everybody, if you're looking for your place for all your comic book news, rumors, and reviews, all while looking for the best and positive in those characters we love, make sure you hit that like button and press subscribe. Well, this came across my Twitter feed just a little while ago, and I just couldn't let it go. And what we've discovered is a full translation to those ancient texts that Zack Snyder revealed in that recent teaser trailer. Now, in the trailer, Wonder Woman is in some ancient ruins in which you hold, and you hear the lines uttered by Lex Luthor from Batman vs Superman. But if you look closely at those pictures, there's some ancient text there. And a Twitter user, Unity underscore 514, which I believe his name is Steve, actually has translated this. Now, hats off to this guy. I didn't do this work. I'm just reporting it. I put a link to his Twitter account down below, so go give him a shout out. So, let's check out this first picture of Darkseid. Now, obviously, that's Darkseid's name at the top. But as we scroll down to the bottom, there's some more text there. And apparently, this text translates as, Are they who fell into or unto the darkness? Or a more rougher translation was, They are beings or they are the beings who fell into the darkness. If you think about this, it makes sense. Darkseid is part of the new gods and represents that side. And is clearly a quote-unquote demon. Now, the other picture has a lot more text in it. So, let's break down each part. That top portion right there is translated as parademons flying down through the ether. Now, he does make a couple notes here that sometimes words are out of order because English order is not necessarily the same order as other languages. The middle portion of the wall there where that stripe is is apparently translated as the ether flying down and the loud roaring clash of iron and blood and horses they have pushed back the conspiracy of the invaders. He also notes the rest of the words are sort of out of the frame. And then the last part is quite extensive and tells us a lot about what went on originally in this battle that we saw in Justice League that just contained Steppenwolf. So this is what it is apparently translated as. The high thundering Zeus ordered his son Ares to severely punish and slay Darkseid. He does put in notations, or to slay kill Darkseid, the invader resulting in him being punished, severely injured, but surviving. So there's some variations in the language there. He goes on to say, therefore, because of what happened to Darkseid, for his own sake, he survived, prevailed only by being scorched, but defeated in battle. Which, once again, some of these words are out of order. But then he goes on to say he fled, or took refuge, to the stars in a hurry. But the ruling dominant soldiers left behind the three arcs, or boxes, obviously the mother boxes, so one arc slash box each was distributed amongst the three, and then it could be generations, races, or clans, so they can watch over, hide, guard, protect, defend them if ever Darkseid invades again. So clearly all this translation is an alternate version of that Steppenwolf battle we saw at the beginning of the Justice League movie. Now, once again, I want to give proper credit to this guy over on Twitter, it's Unity underscore 514. He's done a heck of a job here, and apparently he's got some Greek heritage working for him to help him translate this stuff, so maybe Zach's going to give us some more details, and maybe Steve here will translate it for us. In any case, you can sort of see the variations that happen as they change this movie going through time. So much of the beginning was supposed to be Darkseid, and obviously, that got changed in the Josh Whedon version. I have to wonder if Zack Snyder has some completed text for all this. That would be pretty cool. Who knows, maybe that'll get dropped for us sometime soon. I suspect we'll get more details on the Snyder Cut at the DC Fandom on August 22nd. But if we hear any more about this, we'll make sure we bring it to you right away. So what do you guys think? Did you like this translation? And does it make total sense to you like it does to me? Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.